All right, looking at the first, uh, 1.2, the substitution method. So, in the substitution method, it's basically a four-step process. That process is known as isolate, sub, sub, check. And that's what you have to remember about substitution. Substitution is literally isolate, sub, sub, check. Now, in order to understand what I mean by that, we need to understand what those four words mean. Dealing with the first one, the first step is to isolate. What are we doing? Well, we're isolating for a variable in one equation. So what you're looking for is a letter that's literally almost all by itself already. Once we find that letter that's already almost by itself, we make it by itself and we follow we have completed step number one, which is the isolate step. Step two is to sub. Sub means to substitute. You substitute for the isolated variable into the other equation, so the equation that you didn't isolate for, to solve for the remaining variable. So what we're doing here is we sub what we isolated into the other equation and solve for the remaining variable. So for example, if we isolate in 1, we sub in 2. Alright, what was the third step? Hopefully you remember. It was the word sub again. Substitute for the, sorry, substitute that solution that you found in step 2 into the other uh, sorry, the original isolated equation. Now here's a very important step. You must use the original equations given. If you, for example, make an error in the isolation step and you substitute it back in the isolation step, what happens is that your answer will be wrong and you've now proceeded to substitute your wrong answer into the wrong equation, which was wrong to begin with, and then you end up having a wrong answer. So very important for you to understand. If you isolate in 1, you sub in 2, and then you sub back in 1 again. So you're doing opposite of what you did before. We'll see examples of this throughout this particular video. Question number 4, or step number 4, is to check. Check your solution by completing a left side, right side check. And I recommend you use a t-table. When you are checking something, you're checking to see if it's equal. Therefore, there shouldn't be any equal signs in a check. And let's move forward and look at examples that use the substitution method. Now remember, you have to remember the four words. Isolate, sub, sub, check. Because you will see those happen over and over and over again. All right, example number one, you're asked to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two lines, y equals negative x plus 8, and x minus y equals 4. Okay, first step, rewrite the equations. Here they are. Call the first one 1, so put an ellipsis, which is three dots, as you see here, the three dots, 1, and then you do the same for the second one and call that one 2. So this first one is equation number 1. The second one is equation number 2. Draw your line. And now what we're going to do is follow the steps. What was the first step in the substitution method? Hopefully you're thinking isolate. We want to isolate for a variable. Now some of you are thinking, oh, let's go isolate in this equation. But wait, folks. Look here. See this equation? It already has the variable isolated. Why would you want to isolate again when it's already done for you? So, you still write the isolate step, but you isolate for y in 1. We isolate for y in 1, and that's exactly what we did. In fact, it was already done for us. That's the beauty of that. Next. So we've completed the isolate step. Next, sub. Sub in 2. You're going to substitute that equation into 2. 
So every time you see a y, you're going to substitute negative x plus 8 instead. So let's do that. x minus, now y, y is negative x plus 8. So we're going to substitute it with brackets, folks. Remember, that is one of the rules about when you substitute, is to substitute with brackets. So you have x minus, in brackets, negative x plus 8 equals 4. So what you're going to do now is expand and collect like terms. So we expanded this out. Now how come it's this? Let's look. Minus minus x means plus x and then minus plus 8 means minus 8. Be very careful that you remember that the sign in front gets distributed into the entire bracket. All right, we're going to collect like terms. We get x plus x, which is 2x, and four, we're going to move this minus 8 over to the other side. It becomes plus 8, so 4 plus 8 is 12. And finally, our final answer is x equals 6. So we have now solved for one of the letters. Are we done? Of course not. We haven't finished the four-step process. So, isolate in one, sub in two. What's the next step? Hopefully you're thinking sub in one. So you're going to sub in one. And we're going to substitute x equals 6 into the equation number 1. And you get y equals a negative sign. And we're going to substitute the 6 for the x with brackets, folks, plus 8. And you'll thank me for substituting with brackets later when we start dealing with lots, a lot more negative numbers. And then we have y equals negative 6 plus 8, which is y equals 2. All right, isolate, sub, sub, and finally we need to check. Check the answer 6, 2 in equation Number, hopefully you're thinking, two. We always do opposite to what we did last. So we did isolate in one, sub in two, sub in one, check in two. Now some teachers would say check. you have to check all. Well, the beauty of this is the fact that because we used opposite ones each time, we won't need to check in in both because by using opposite ones the this check will help us get the answer that we need which is a left side right side are equal and it will help us get check our answer correctly so we're going to check in two and we do a left side and a right side in the t table and what's on the left side and right side? Well, in equation number two, we have, you can see, an equal sign. There's a left side of the equal sign and a right side of the equal sign. So we put the left side in the left side section, just as so. And then we put what's on the right side on the right side. There we go. And now we're going to substitute the values for x and y x is 6, y is 2, substitute with brackets, you get 4 on the left side. Wait, look, hopefully you see what I see. 4 on the right side, and folks, there we have it. Left side equals right side, and we've checked to make us happy. So we've checked that they're equal to make us happy, and therefore the point of intersection is 6, 2. Now this, I went through a very long explanation for you to understand how to do substitution. Now we'll go to the next one. Example number two. Example number two, you're asked to find the solution to the linear system 4x minus 7y is equal to 20 and x minus 3y is equal to 10. We write out the two equations. We write out one, we write out two, and we need to isolate. Hopefully, by looking at the two equations, you can see what we need to isolate for. 
That's right, folks. We need to isolate for x in equation number 2. It's the only one where the variable is almost already by itself. So isolate for x in 2, and we get x is equal to 10 plus 3y. Now, we're going to take this and substitute it in 1. We sub it in 1, and we get 4 times, instead of x, we're writing 10 plus 3y, minus 7y is equal to 20. Expand, and then we multiply the 4 into the brackets, and then we collect like terms, and we get 5y is equal to negative 20, y is equal to negative 4. So now we've completed step 2. We isolated, step 1 was isolate, step 2 is sub, third step is sub again, we, so we're going to sub in 2, and the original 2, never, never, I, for this one, it's always the originals, folks. So this is the original equation, we sub in there, and we sub it in, and we get the right answer, which will be x plus 12 equals 10, x equals negative 2. Finally, we check our answer, and we check negative 2, negative 4 in equation number 1. And what do we get? Well, let's do a left side, right side. Left side is 4x minus 7y. 20 is the right side. Lo and behold, folks, we get left side equals right side, and we've checked to make us happy. The solution is negative 2, 4 as our final solution. All right, I'm going to stop the video here, and we're going to move on to the other video, and then to the next video, so that we have plenty of time to finish off the rest of the questions. See you on the other side, folks.